Hey everyone, good morning. Listen, we have um, an opportunity to chat with one of my friends, Pam Carey from the Chicago area. And um, she and I were chatting yesterday about something that had occurred in her life where she could really identify her health age versus her chronological age. So I've asked her to join us and there she is. So I'm gonna bring her on so that we can talk to her today. Pam? How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Can you hear me okay? Do you get an echo or is the sound okay? There's a little echo. There's a little echo. Do you want me to use my headphones? If you don't mind. If you don't mind. I don't mind. I just got to run and grab them. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Okay. Or is that echo? Or is that echo coming from me? I don't know. We'll I don't know. Second. Second. Thank you all. Thank you all. Who are you? 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 Pam, I hope it's not me because I don't have Let's my Let's try that. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Is that, Perfect. Is that better? Yes. Yes. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. You know, Pam, I was just telling everybody before you hopped on that you and I were chatting yesterday about mm -hmm. something that you discovered yourself, and that was the difference between your chronological age and your health age. And so um, I asked Pam to come on just to share a little bit about um, what has happened in her life and how um, this has affected her. And so, Pam, we're just going to do a little interview. So do you mind just kind of sharing with us? Because we know that choices that we make every single day can affect our health. And um, someone 50-ish actually can now have a health age of 30. So tell us a little mm -hmm. bit more about that. Okay, great. It's great to be here with you. Um, a few years ago, well, for several years, um, I've had to go to um, a, a blood draw facility and have my blood drawn in the beginning of the calendar year um, for my husband's insurance for our family, for his company, I should say. Go to his company, get the blood drawn, get the report so we can get lower insurance premiums. Um, and I, I've done that for years. About three years ago, the um, report started to include my health age in addition to my actual age. And I found that really interesting. I remember being 51 and my health age was 30. And I looked at that because at 51, um, to, to have somebody say your health age is 30 is really interesting. You know, I used to think 30 was old. <laughs> and then I got into my 50s and I wanna be 30. So um, I started to watch that. And um, each year, now I'm 54 and my health age is 33. And um, so it's tracking with about a 20 year differential. And I think that's exciting to me because I feel like I'm 30. I have uh, five kids ages 15 to 23. So um, I have an active, busy life. I've used Shackley products for many years. And um, that has been a benefit to me for sure in building health. I wanna just say um, on a basic level for health that our body is made up of trillions of cells. And every day, old cells are dying off and we're um, growing new cells in our body. So we want to think about the building blocks of health, of vitamins, minerals, protein, and water, and how those really um, do make a difference when our cells are well-fed, just like when a plant or your lawn is well-fed or um, a crop of, of um, corn or soybeans in a field are taken care of, then they yield um, uh, fruitful things and same thing with our body uh, when we take care of our body and give it what it needs on a cellular level then we get results so I'm learning that you know more and more as life goes on and it's been an exciting thing so exercise is super important of course and sleep I'm a seven to eight hours of sleep girl I don't really compromise on that and um, nutrition is super important. Like I said, vitamins and minerals, eating from the earth, six to nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day, um, quite a, a big challenge for many of us in our, our um, fast paced lifestyle of um, drive through restaurants and um, processed foods at, at the grocery store. And it's difficult to, to eat um, six to nine servings of fruits and vegetables. Um, the focus on drinking water and enough water and to stay hydrated and even taking some supplements and stuff. I do start the day with a protein shake and that's um, a fast 
um, satisfying, complete breakfast with that extra fiber that we need as well. And I like that. But um, probiotics, and um, I do take a strip of vitamins with lots of good nutrients in it. I think that's important. Even um, in the mid-2000s, 2005, 2006, somewhere in there, the American Medical Association finally started recommending that we do take a multivitamin because taking a vitamin does build health in our bodies. So finally, that has been proven. And um, I'm finding that as I get older, that um, that stuff is important. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You know, Pam, when um, when I was first introduced to living a healthier lifestyle, I was about 30, 31 years old. And little did I know that every decade it was going to provide me something healthier and stronger and give me more vitality. You know, 40 decades, not 40 decades, well, it seems like 40 decades, no, four decades later, I have really seen the significance of really taking charge and care and responsibility for your own health and not leaving it in a doctor's hands regarding medication. Now, um, I'm finding for myself that I went through menopause fairly easily. And, you know, I think menopause for me was 58. Um, that's a lot of things that women struggle through, you know, perimenopause, um, menopause. How, do you have any suggestions for that? Because um, that was some ideas that I gathered from folks was really helpful when I was going through menopause. Yes, that's a challenging time of life for women. And that's a common topic for me with my peers now in their mid fifties. Um, menopause for me was at 51. And so just a few years ago, and it really um, was a non-event for me. I've had a, a couple of hot flashes, but you could count on one hand how many that I've had. I haven't struggled with sleep and um, it's been pretty, pretty easy. And I find that with other people who have um, leaned into a little bit of wellness and, and tried to make a little difference um, in their choices and um, sort of having a plan for wellness, especially during this time period. You know, is it too late? People may say, viewers here may say, oh, well, you know, you say you've been doing this for decades or you've been taking, you know, supplements and, and building your nutrition forever. It's too late for me now. I'm 55. Uh, it's too late. And it's not. Mm -hmm. And, um, and supplements and diet changes and new habits do make a difference. And I have um, a quick story about um, eyesight because, again, that's another common topic in my conversations with my um, friends is our declining vision uh, up close. We, a lot of us lose our um, close vision as we age and we're wearing readers and um, struggling with bifocal contacts and um, trying to figure out if we have to give up that look of no glasses and now we have to wear glasses for the rest of our life. And some of us really struggle with that. And I um, was having trouble with my closer vision and I wondered what was going on with that. And I had a prescription for um, for readers at a, like a 1.75 magnification. And um, I was struggling with my eyes and I was wondering what was going on. Um, I had increased the amount of a beta carotene supplement that I'm taking, like carotenoids. Those are things that are in vegetables that we don't get enough of lycopene, um, lutein, zeaxanthin, nutrients like that that help our eyes. I had recently increased um, my intake of that because I didn't want to have eye issues. People have been talking about those. And, and as soon as you start talking about things, then things start happening. So I was aware and I thought, wow, this is happening to me. And then I went to the eye doctor the week before last and she told me that my vision was getting better. Mm -hmm. that my um, magnif I was wearing too much magnification. The 1.75 was too strong and I needed to back it down to a 1.5. And I thought, wow, I have been increasing this um, beta carotene supplement f um, for just a couple of months and I was able to make an improvement in my vision. And that was exciting to me. So again, I'm reminded of um, the, the response that we get from our body when we take care of it. Yes, yes. So I want to encourage people for that. Um, in menopause, in sleep issues, in vision stuff, in muscle deterioration, atrophy from not using things. If you had an injury or surgery and you're not as active as you used to be and you feel like you can't get back to your A game, you know, baby steps, little things each day, making good choices each meal, looking for those vitamins, minerals, protein, and water, really super important. I believe that we're going to pay for wellness now or we're going to pay for illness later. And fortunately, we're wise enough now in 2019 to know that we have these choices, these options. And I encourage people to have a wellness budget. And that might include like 
organic food, organic fruits and vegetables, or um, dairy or eggs or meat that are clean. Um, spending a little bit more money on that. Maybe a health club, maybe a yoga studio, maybe a therapist or a life coach, or maybe your vitamins or your protein shakes or things. Um, it's a good idea to designate some of your income to some of your well, to a wellness program. So we all have money. So we all have different amounts of money and we all do different things with our money, right? So I talk openly about money with people because I want to help people um, change the I and illness to we so we can build wellness together. That's what I like yeah. to help people do. And because I think we're either going to pay for one or the other. And um, I don't care if you have $5 or $500, we can help put a nutrition plan together for you that works for you. And my sister um, didn't have much money for a while and uh, she could only spend $5 a month. And we were able to put in a program for her that gave her a little bit of a multivitamin and just some minimal stuff. But now she's expanded that because she's seen a difference and um, she's expanded it into um, better health for her. So um, you got to walk before you run always. And I just um, want to encourage people to think about that, that wellness versus illness. And I do have a, um, a a numbers example that I share with people regularly. Um, if you spent $200 a month for your family on their wellness, $200 a month, then you'd spend $2,400 in a year for wellness. And over 10 years, you'd spend $24,000. So $24,000, that's a big number. Mm -hmm. $24,000 for a decade of wellness. Would you buy that? Mm. Somebody was going to sell you that? Would you buy that? I would buy that. $24,000 for a decade of wellness. I mean, how long does it take to get a $24,000 hospital bill? You know, right. if you're in the hospital, $10,000 for an MRI. There you go. Mm -hmm. So um, really just trying to um, help people understand about choices and the importance of making um, good ones and taking charge of that. Um, my parents are 78 and 84. They live across the country and I see them just a couple times a year. They were in town in, here in Chicago this past weekend because my fourth child graduated from high school. And so they were here and they're 78. My mom is 78 and my dad is going to be 84. And they've really focused on um, wellness like this. And it's a joy to see them with their vitality. And um, I'm in my 50s and I, spe I was speaking to some gals yesterday who are in their 30s about what life is going to look like in 20 years. And then another 20 years is where you are, Elena. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that with my parents even more into their 80s and still seeing that vitality, no medications. I mean, that's just um, unheard of at times in 80s mm -hmm. and have no prescriptions going on. Mm -hmm. The lifespan is um, today in America is 79 years old. And we want to make sure that our health span um, agree, uh, equals our lifespan. It's sort of like running out of gas in your car, right? So if you run out of gas, what if we run out of health before we were really destined to be at the end of our life? You know, we've got to kind of close that gap mm -hmm. up. So just, you know, I, I love to help people think about that and think about the choices that they make. Because even if you do like one thing at a time, one thing a month, I used mm -hmm. to have a list of the top 10 tips for raising healthy kids when, when my kids were in preschool. And things like eliminating toxins from your environment. Um, stay at home moms, women who work out of the home have a 54% higher increase in developing cancer than those who work outside the home largely due to what's under their kitchen sink, under their bathroom sink, and in their laundry room. So those are, you know, pretty easy changes to make, some dish detergents and laundry detergents, and the skin is the largest organ, so we're sleeping on chemicals oftentimes. You can smell it when you go in that aisle in the store. You know you're in the cleaning aisle, right? It smells different mm -hmm. than the cereal aisle does, that's for mm -hmm. sure. And um, so those kind of things, maybe changing to natural peanut butter, maybe, um, starting to um, drink a filtered water, getting a, fil a water filtration system in your home. Um, maybe... Um, so simple things, I don't know. you're saying just simple things, maybe changing one thing a month so that it doesn't feel so overwhelming would really be beneficial. For and I think you can do that over the course of a year. You'd change 10 things. You'd take 10 steps toward wellness. And over that 10 years, 100 things you do differently now that represent a, a healthier lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And those things are things that we can all do. Maybe to take a, a, a 10 minute walk every day, that's all we have, or do some meditation or something for your wellness. Easy to do as a family, make it a family thing, make your list, you make your bucket list in the summer or what you want to do, 
you know, this year or your home improvements or places you want to travel to? What about your wellness? You know, I just want to have people thinking about that because that's impactful. And you can increase your lifespan um, and how long, how much longer you're around and gain yourself a few more years as you get into your senior years. That's bonus. Mm -hmm. Those are bonus years and bonus days that you can have because of what you do today pays you forward down the road. And to be able to live with vitality. I mean, it's not just about living longer. It's about living um, healthier longer. It's about looking healthier longer. And you were just talking about the skin and how important, you know, our skin is to how we, you know, feel about ourselves even in the world. And so um, maybe looking at some more natural things that have removed chemicals from skincare products could really be yes. important for, um, for our skin. I know I've just been grateful that um, every decade as I've aged, and when I first got started in this journey, I had no idea what it was going to bring for me. Um, but to be able to be where I am right now and to feel like, really, I'm like, I feel 42. I, I don't know where 42 yes. comes from. But I just feel that same way that I did back then, full of energy and vitality. So we just want to encourage people that if you're here on this planet, you have living cells, you can repair those cells, you can restore those cells, you can renew those cells so that you're, you can have healthier looking skin, you can have healthier organs because those organs are made up of cells and it's not a very difficult thing to do. That's right. And I look forward to aging. Like you say, I remember when Sharon Stone, I was home with babies. It was a couple decades ago and I was watching the Rosie O'Donnell show and Sharon Stone was the guest and she was turning 40 and she was celebrating her 40th birthday. And she said, I'm just glad to be 40. And I thought to myself, wow, because I was in my thirties and I thought, wow, when I turn 40, I, I want to I want to feel that way too. Right. I want to have that attitude. And, and I did at 40 and I did at 50 and I'm excited to be 60 and it just seems to keep getting better. Mm -hmm. And so many people that you talk about, they don't want to tell you how old they are or they're like, a, um, not, not excited about aging or not excited about life. And these are the glory years. You know, we've worked, we've been educated, we've raised families, we've um, paid our bills off, we've paid off our mortgage, or we've made choices, we've started to travel, we started to get some freedom in, in our later years. They should be the glory years, like I'm saying. And I, I just, if you have your health, you have your wealth. My mom used to say that to me when I was little, and I never really understood what that meant. It was right there next to the poster in the cafeteria that said, you are what you eat. And I was eating like a sloppy joe and tater tots or something at my school lunch, right? And I thought, what, what does that mean? But, but now I understand. We really are what we eat. Mm -hmm. And if we have our health, we have our wealth. So it can keep getting better. And, and quickly, within 30 days, you can notice a difference when you start tending to your garden mm -hmm. of cells in your body. Mm -hmm. And you will, will respond to that. And it's a beautiful thing. And life is so worth living. Yeah. And you're just a great example of that, Elena, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to two decades down the road. No fear here, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it yeah. feels good. Yeah. It feels really good. It's exciting. It is. And, and, you know, we have purpose and we have a destiny. And so what can we offer in every single decade of our life? What can we offer to our community, to um, the people that are around us? So I just think we want to embrace where we are and do it with health and, um, yes. and, and vigor. So that's where we for are. Sure. So for sure. Thank you so much, Pam, for sharing with us today and, and sharing your your experience about actually knowing that your health age is 20 years because you hear people throw that around you know the uh, 50 is the new 70 and you know all those numbers but you actually have proof that you are yeah on the inside living a healthier life so thank yeah. you pam appreciate it's you a good so thing. much there's room for more yes come on that's right <laughs> there's room for more yeah yeah <laughs> Thank right. you so much, Elena. And thanks for encouraging me because I'm looking forward because of people like yourself. So oh, thank you. It's good. Thank it's you. real good. All right. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. We'll talk soon. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.